So you've created a video. Wonderful. Now, what do you want the viewer to do at the end of that video? Do you even know what you want them to do? Hi, I'm Mark Bullock. I'm the co-founder of videosocials.net and a phone blogger.net. And what I'm talking about is what is your call to action or CTA in marketing lingo? What What's so important about it is, is it, we need to realize, and, and I'm as guilty as anyone else in having a wishy-washy or an, un, a not impactful call to action. So how do we make it impactful? Well, one is whatever it is that you want them to do, you want it to be related to the video, right? So the common is, you know, contact me, let's have a conversation or even to invite them to have a conversation, which is, I think, the next level of that. But you have to realize that if this is the first piece of content that they've ever consumed of yours, if this is something that you're putting out on social media, as an example, maybe they don't know you. That's a big step to ask them to call and contact you or even to email you. So there's nothing wrong with having that there, but I think there's something that you might find that's considerably more valuable because what you want them to do is to not just go on to the next video, just go on to the next piece of content that, that, that they're going on and completely forget about you. You want them to give, want to give them a reason to stay with you, to want to get more information that you have to offer. So whether that be a page of your website that has related content to what you just presented on, whether that be the playlist that you put together on YouTube for them to um, engage with, whether that be to subscribe to your YouTube channel or what any other social media channel that you're on, whether it be to check you out on other specific social media sites, basically pick one and give them a link. I've done other videos on calls to action, but this is the point that I want you to get for this one. If you don't give them a link, you're asking them to type something, to search for something, to go somewhere and dig around for something. What do you think the chances are going to be that they're going to do that versus if you just give them a link? Click here and tell them what they're going to get when they click there so that you've got a clean, clear path for them to follow after they've finished consuming that piece of content in this context of video. The link will be below. And I'm gonna give you two calls to action for this video. If you found it valuable, you'll find lots more at videosocials.net forward slash academy. There'll be a link below. And in addition to that, if you haven't been a guest at Video Socials, we'd love to meet you. We'd love for you to find out more information about it. We'd love to have you as a guest. So again, there'll be a link below but it's videosocials.net forward slash guests and or the guest tab on videosocials.net. But again, link below. Hope you found this valuable. Again, Mark Bullock, the co-founder of videosocials.net and a phone blogger.net. Have a great day.